Hey guys, me again. And today we have yet again another Samsung TV. Um, this is very similar to the other Samsung TV that I repaired, but there's a slight difference. It's a slightly different model, but it's the same exact size, a 70 inch model. Uh, the panel, the, the back cover looks the same. It's just that the other one I fixed, uh, I said they were the same ones, but they're actually not quite the same ones. Uh, the difference with the other one was the bezel, the trim was a bit thinner. This one, it's a thick, it's a thicker bezel. So there's a slight difference, but otherwise the same garbage and it probably uses the same main board. Actually, no, it doesn't use the same main board because uh, this main board you're going to see, it's going to have two ribbon cables. The last one and the other one that I did before the last one only used one main rib ribbon cable for the uh, driver board, driver boards for the uh, panel. So without further ado, I'm going to start by removing this back cover completely off. And uh, yeah, we're going to do the same thing like we did on the uh, the last uh, two Samsung TVs, you know. So let's get into it. Okay, so now we have the back off of the TV. And we're going to basically do the same thing that we did on the last two Samsung TVs. This one I thought maybe I want to show you guys and record because this one is the other version of Samsung's that you might see. And that's the one that have two ribbon cables. The last two, the other two Samsung's I just fixed only have one main ribbon cable like this. This one has two, so, but the procedure is pretty much the same. It's the left-hand side and the right-hand side. The only thing that you'll notice is you're gonna have two smaller driver boards for this side, and you're gonna have two other driver boards for the other side. And we're gonna have to manipulate this flex cable over here. And it's the same thing. We have eight clock signals over here, eight clock signals that are over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the same thing on the other side. And we're gonna block a certain number of them, one or more. And we're gonna see what uh, happens when we do that. The TV should work afterwards, actually. So um, yeah, we're gonna get started and uh, I'm gonna basically just uh, go right into it. I'm not gonna even bother troubleshooting the power supply, the main board, because I know the issue on this one is like the other two. So let's get started. I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm going to plug in the cable for this power supply and just again you're going to watch and you're going to see that the same thing happens like the other two back lights that come on they came off and the light should blink twice over here yeah there you go so you can look right here and they blink twice and the back lights you'll notice they come on and they come off they're on and they just went off and now they dimmed then it's going to go completely dark come on completely dark so these holes there you probably recognize that so basically the uh, TV is again it's, it's turning on it's turning off and uh, we also have the red the, the standby light is blinking twice so same issue as the other two we're gonna get right into it and we're gonna fix this one for the customer so yeah ribbon cable time <laughs> so let's see what we can do okay guys and uh, so I did my little patchwork here on the uh, ribbon cable and we're gonna see now I see there's a standby light I put the cable there so we're gonna see if we solve the uh, the mystery right so let's go ahead power it on it's on yep the TV is running Yep. So I have it under my table, but TV appears to be running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up straight and uh, we're going to see what we see on the screen. Okay, so let me do that first and then I'll get back to you. Actually, you know what? We're going to put it all back together because I'm pretty certain that it's fixed now and it's the best that we can do. So uh, I'm going to put it back together, set it up straight and... Uh, we're gonna give it a test. Okay, so the TV is back up, and I uh, thought I want to show you. Now that it's all back together, the covers on there. There's the other Samsung I fixed, uh, and then there's and then there's the high sense that is missing or needing the main board. So everything is connected back and put back together. Hit the power button, 
There goes the TV. And there we have it. We have our picture. So it does turn on a bit weird, but it doesn't matter because, I mean, look, hey, the, the, the picture's there, you know, so that's what's, my, that's what's important. So I'm going to give it a quick test run with something connected to it, but I believe that this is, uh, it's working. I believe it's, uh, it's back in order. This line, unfortunately, uh, is going to be part of the reason why this patch works or whatever you want to call it, so that's the affected place that the uh, that uh, caused this uh, issue so we can't do anything about that unfortunately so that's gonna have to stay there but the rest is okay and it works like it's supposed to so there's our apps we can navigate yep so everything's working like it should so there we have it. So if you guys like this video, I think I'm going to end it here. So if you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up. Put a comment down in the bleep bloop section below. And uh, hit the bell if you don't want to miss another one of these videos when they come out. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Okay? Until then, take care. Bye-bye.